Well, hello. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. I hope everyone's enjoying their work week. Uh, I want to go over some news for the Philadelphia Eagles. One thing that's glaring right now when you went into free agency and now, um, you know, losing specific pieces that you really have to um, replace sometimes could be a problem and there's one position I definitely want to go over from probably one of the biggest losses to the Eagles defense so let's get straight into it Yo, 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 just a few weeks away and we are at Eagles training camp. I'm just so pumped for it. I just, I can't wait. I just can't wait for it. But until then, I think there's one thing we definitely have to talk about here. Now, as I said before, going into obviously, you know, when we lost players in free agency and one that I definitely want to talk about a lot of and kind of how we were really going to replace this and, and understanding drafting Jalen Carter was the big difference here. You know, losing Javon Hargrave was definitely the biggest loss to our defense. I'd say more than Chauncey because obviously, you know, Chauncey's a good player, but I think Hargrave was definitely the bigger loss uh, with 11 sacks for the season. And, um, you know, it was, was, was great. It was fantastic. Obviously not great against the run, but uh, as a pass rusher, he was fantastic with us for, for a couple years. Um, now with Hargrave now leaving, okay, and, you know, the question is now, is Jalen Carter going to, you know, really take over? Um, for me, when it comes to first-round picks, especially for defensive linemen, it, it really goes down to, like, it, it might take him a game or two. It, it just might take him a, a game or two, some NFL snaps to really get into it, um, you know, to really get on his feet and, you know, I don't know if you're going to have that instant success immediately. I mean, I hope so, um, but it's always something to look at with guys like this, um, you know, looking into the league and, and seeing certain guys, you know, in their first years, you know, not always great years for defensive linemen. You know what I mean? Like there are plenty of examples where guys had really fast starts to guys that had really slow starts in the NFL. Uh, you know, Warren Sapp only had three sacks his first year, you know, uh, uh, even even Aaron Donald had nine and a half his first year. So, I mean, it's uh, it just depends on the player. And I feel like there's just more motivation here um, because he is a Philadelphia Eagle. If he was on another team, I'm not saying he wouldn't produce it as much, but I feel like now with, with so many weapons around him, especially that defensive line, which is already good as it is right now, um, I feel like he will go into training camp. I feel like he will come out swinging and he will be the starter next to, uh, next to Jordan Davis this year. His mentor. The guy he looked up to at Georgia, which is fantastic. Um, I feel like he's going to have a fast start this year. I, I really do. I feel like even if it's not his instant success, I'm not going to be mad about it if it takes a game or two. But for me, I feel like there's just so much more. Um, this is why you have training camp and mini camp and all that stuff. And, and, you know, the joint practices just because, you know, you have to get that, you know, get those snaps in. So don't expect Jalen Carr to play a lot of preseason. Probably not. I mean, maybe. Maybe we'll see, uh, but I'm not expecting too much. You know, some of these guys do have to play and, you know, uh, they want to keep these guys healthy for the first game in rotation. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like even when your first defensive line at defensive tackle, it's going to be Jordan Davis. It's going to be uh, Jalen Carter. You know, I, I feel like getting drafted here was the big difference maker. I think it's going to give him extra motivation playing with X, you know, playing with teammates that he played with, with George, you know, when he was at Georgia. So I think that's making the big difference here. Like you could just get drafted onto a team, not know anybody and just play and just try to work up to a, co a new contract, in, you know, in four years. But being drafted as a Philadelphia Eagle as of right now, um, was the difference maker and the extra motivation he's going to have in playing with those guys, the camaraderie with Nolan Smith and the Kobe Dean um, and Keely Ringo and some of these other guys, you know what I mean? Like it's, you know, and it's and he has a championship mentality. You know, you won a national championship. You know, that school is a big deal when it comes to, um, you know, the culture and somewhat of what the Eagles culture is. You know what I mean? Um, and it's it's very similar in a lot of ways. And the attitude of where these players come from, that team is definitely a big one there. So I know I'm kind of reminiscent, you know, reminiscing on some things, but. You know, I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't think, you know, I don't know if Jalen Carr is going to have 11 sacks this year, 
Um, I feel like he can have seven to nine and a half sacks. I feel like he can have a lot more. I, I'm so very high on Jalen Carter. I just feel like he is going to be a double digit sack player in his rookie year. I just, I just feel it, man. I, I don't know. And if he doesn't, like, I'm not going to be upset about it, but yeah, if he comes out this year and he only has like two, three sacks for the season, yeah, it's going to be really bad. I mean, that's it's not going to be good. Um, the aggressiveness, you know, that he, that, that he brings is just, it's unstoppable. Now, I mean, even with Javon Hargrave, you know, unfortunately, I already had him walking. I would have been shocked that they resigned him, but $21 million a year that, you know, these defensive tackles are getting, you know, the market is over $20 million a year, 20 or more a year. That's what they're getting paid. Um, so even to know from you guys, like, what do you guys expect from Jalen Carter this year? Do you think it's going to take a couple games? Do you think he just has to get, you know, into the gist of, you know, NFL snaps for a couple games? Or do you think that he is going to explode immediately? Pause. Um, and make some plays. I, I feel like he's going to be an instant success with the Philadelphia Eagles from the first game that we play against the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium. I feel like it is going to happen. We're going to see some sacks. We're going to see him be aggressive. We're, we're going to see what this guy is all about. And we already know what he brings to the table. But um, like I said, it's really exciting uh, going into this year. Um, and you always want to look at, you know, did this team get better? I think this team got a lot better. I think you got two projected really I mean you you got a top a top 3 talent here. A top 2 talent, really. I mean, I had this guy as the second best player in this past draft behind Will Anderson. So, didn't expect to get him, didn't expect it was going to happen really passing Seattle at 5, so or 6, I forgot where they were at. Um, so I didn't really expect it too much. But like I said, being drafted to the Philadelphia Eagle, playing with his with his teammates, um, that he's, you know, obviously won a national championship with is a, is a big one there. And just the mentality that he has, um, you know, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Like, I'm no, I know I'm just kind of, you know, going off the books here, but you know, a lot of guys need to have some good years this year. And, uh, especially on that defensive line, if he's playing next to Jordan Davis, both of these guys need to have really good years. As much as I don't put too much in a first round pick his first year, you know, I got to see something, you know what I mean? Uh, you're, you're getting a pass rusher right now. You're getting a guy that's not bad against the run, but you're getting a guy that's re a really good pass rusher. Obviously, the you know, the big difference between him and Jordan Davis. Davis is a little bit heavier, um, athletic, definitely. Um, but, you know, Davis is going into year two right now and really has to show up. So, you know, Jordan Davis commands those double teams and Jalen Carter, you know, uh, he will be in those one-on-one -on -one situations unless teams want, want to start doubling Jalen Carter that's just a different story um but they if Carter gets those one-on-ones it's going to be really interesting I want to see what his motor looks like I want to see how much gas he has in the tank um even seeing Jordan Davis last year even though he was before he had the high ankle sprain he was a top 13 defensive tackle against the run I mean he was he was playing really well and his stats are going to show up because he's you know he's he's tackling running backs and you know that's that's really what he's what he was doing and commanding those double teams so the stats aren't going to show up off the board uh but you know statistically looked you know um or not statistically but it looked really good in in seven eight weeks which was great until the injury happened um, so I think both of those guys are crucial to this defensive line. I mean, it really starts with them in the middle that makes everyone else successful. That makes it obviously harder for offensive linemen to really match up against these guys every single week. Um, so expecting Jalen Carr to have a fantastic, huge year this year. Very excited. Um, I want to know from you guys what you guys think about Jalen Carter in general. Do you think he's going to replace Javon Hargrave's? Um, you know, I, you know, when we acquired J J Javon Hargrave, he was you know, obviously he was already years into the league already. So it's not like, you know what I mean? So um, do you think this is going to be a, a quick assessment? Are we going to get, you know, a guy that's going to produce really quickly? Or do you think it might take a couple games or maybe longer than that? You know what I mean? So I want to know from you guys what you guys think about that. And, um, you know, like, I, I don't like the whole, like, when a player leaves, another player comes in, you know, and you have to, that player has to get those statistics for this year. I, I don't need to have Jalen Carr to have 11 sacks. Even if he has, even if he has, even, even if he leads the league in pressures for defensive tackles, I don't even care. As long as he's being disruptive, does not matter. And then, and the guy next to him is, is going to be successful, especially, I mean, I think Davis is going to make Jalen Carter more successful to take on those one-on-one. -on -one. So I know I've been, 
uh, you know, ranting about it a little bit here on this video, but it's just, yeah, I, I think it's, I think he's going to be one of the top players in the league this year. I, I really do. At his position, I think he'll be a top five player. I, I really do. Um, and if he doesn't, then you know, if it's takes longer, you know, two three games in, he starts to really produce, then that's fine. You know what I mean? That that's what I kind of expect. Um, but. I'm really not expecting it that much as I think I am. <laughs> I feel like uh, he's going to do a lot more. Um, so, yeah, that's all I really got to say. Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think about Jalen Carter. Um, what production, what do you think his statistics are going to be? Um, you know, is, is Javon Hargrave a big loss for this team? And that's the, that's the big question. And was it, um, you know, was it replaced? You know, for years to come, was it replaced? So um, other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one. And guys, if you guys have it, make sure you like the video. Make sure you, you uh, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel as well. Do appreciate everybody uh, chiming in. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up, follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.